Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Abu Tafilah at long last. We've reached the lake. And I think it's called Ira Lake. And again, as we talked about prior to this, it's important that you use this time, this time of isolation to remember and come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to benefit from your time, to remember Him, to reflect upon His creation, to draw near to Him, to get things accomplished. Try not to procrastinate, try not to be wasteful of your time. And no doubt, that's what the mu'min <coughs> is ordered to do. The mu'min, he or she, should use his or her time to draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to benefit from your time. You know, benefit in pursuing your, whatever you're trying to pursue in your endeavors. To remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to reflect on his creation, to draw nearer to him. To seek his bounties, you know, your rizq and his favors, and just to benefit from your time. So a reminder to myself, because I know that I haven't spent, I spent some time in stress, some time in, you know, probably being some anxiety about the future. You know, what's my next step? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? What am I going to do here? What am I going to do there? But I've also tried to benefit from my time and continue in my pursuit of Athity Institute by recording Durus. So I have been busy in that respect, but not as busy as I would like to, as I'd like to be. And part of that is because when you begin to get distracted, you stress, you allow things that may or may be out of your control overcome you and overtake you, that these things take you away from the, your ibadah and they take you away from meeting your goals. So some t so what I want you to do and think about is at least focus on something. Make sure that you get at least one of your many goals uh, that you're striving to accomplish. One of the many things you're trying to trying to do. Don't allow frustration and anxiety and grief and difficulty. Don't allow for it to take you away from what you're trying to attain and achieve this is what i advise myself and my brothers and sisters because no doubt the shaitan will capitalize on this time and can end up being a source of destroying you a source of your destruction and the believer instead should allow this to be only a time of benefit a time of reflection, a time to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a time to make tawbah to Allah, a time to benefit from your time. And as we mentioned prior to this, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said about the two things that people waste the most and they lose. He said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as-siha wa firag, one's health and one's free time. Because think about that. Those are some of the most valuable things that you have in this dunya. That if you, if someone is blessed with time, think of the person who, who really doesn't have to worry about work. For example, they're a business person that is fairly successful and they, they, their business runs for itself or they have residual income or they have multiple streams of income. They don't, they can use their time wisely, especially during this time. They could be worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more. They can be doing talib al-ilm. They can be doing so much khayr. They can be doing good deeds of charity. They can be visiting the sick and feeding the poor all kind of good things you can do if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favors you with wealth and you use it for khair. And likewise, they can take care of themselves physically, exercise, uh, enjoying the outdoors. This was a tremendously, uh, a difficult hike. I know, I don't know anybody amongst my friends except for some from Jahiliya who could who do this. Any of the Muslims that I know, they couldn't do this. This was an intense hike. And then I'll have to go back and go down. It took me probably an hour 
and something of almost pure uphill almost totally uphill i don't i'm going to check the elevation this was an intense hike so this is an excellent form of <laughs> sweating out impurities strengthening building up your cardio strengthening your legs for those who need to lose weight losing weight and a time of reflection <laughs> look at this this is real this isn't a backdrop that i made this is really allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful creation we are here and we're here enjoying it we're benefiting look at the reflection under under look at the creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what can you say we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty for us to be able to benefit from his beautiful creation many many more times to reflect to remind one another to have healthy righteous lives doing good and may allah afford us and bless us to make toba to him and to come to him often because that really will be truly the success. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhar wa qina adhab al-nar. Rabbana la tazak qulubana ba'da the daytana wa hab lana min ladun ka rahma inna kanta al-wahab. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم